Okay, we are heading over to another cutie now, and it's in the garden with Frank. Oh my goodness, cutie number one and cutie number two. So you are going to help us save our gardens from bugs, <laughs> slugs, and disease, and you've got some company. What a sweetheart. Yeah, you know, I just thought I'd up the cute factor by little Bentley being here. He doesn't bug me in the garden, but anytime you had a female dog, they could leave a little bit of burn marks. But you know, whenever I'm taking care of bugs, I want to think about Bentley and make sure whatever I'm doing is safe for children and or pets. Absolutely. Okay, talk to me a little bit about protecting the steps to protecting our garden from insects. So when it comes to taking the time to smell the garden, that's the first thing I want people to do. And I've been pretty lucky this year so far as well. For instance, I have a beautiful eggplant that's here. Taking the time to take a look at the garden and seeing if you have any issues. If I had issues on aphids, I would generally see that in the soft, tender growth or around the flowers that are there. But let's say that I did see an issue with a bug on one of these plants in my troughs. First thing that you always do, the easiest thing, old school method, is just pick it and you're going to squish it. Next mm -hmm. thing that you can do is anytime you have any bugs, quick fix is just wash them right off. That mm -hmm. high pressure wash can just push them away and keep them at bay. I just think I scared Bentley there when I did that at the same time. <laughs> but after we do the pick and squish, we do the wash off. What we will then need to do is try to identify what that insect is and try to figure out appropriate control. Many insects will benefit from an insecticidal soap, but the key is when you're treating an insecticidal soap or using anything on a garden, we never want to spray during the heat of a day. So we always want to do that in the morning hours or in the evening hours, because if we were doing it on a hot sunny day, we could actually burn the foliage that's out there. So take the time to inspect, pick and squish, wash them off, then control. Okay, what are the com common uh, garden bugs and slugs that we need to look out for, Frankie? So you just mentioned about ants, and ants are probably one of the most common. And ants can cause problems in the lawn, they can get into the house. There are many different controls that you'll see, and a lot of them are based on a bait. So this is just really an ant bait station that you could purchase. Or what you can do is make your own ant bait. And by making your own ant bait, all you're really doing is using sugar. So 50% sugar, 50% borax mixed together, and you put it in little mounds. What happens is the ant will then think that sugar is something they should be taking as a food source back to the colony. Mm. They feed the colony, and then the borax, it's a part of that, will then eventually kill off that colony. So that's the way you can control ants. Other ones, like I mentioned about aphids, and aphids are probably the most common, and aphids and ants have a relationship. So if you ever see ants on your plants, generally you have aphids, because what happens is as the aphid's eating away at that plant, it secretes a honeydew in behind, and that's what the ants are eating. Aphids can be controlled with an insecticidal soap, and sometimes the quickest thing you can do for an insecticidal soap is just go into the kitchen and look for some liquid soap, and with that, you're going to mix it in with water, and you can even use it with some canola oil, and then all of a sudden you will have your own insecticidal soap. Uh, slugs you mentioned about, uh, watering in the morning is key with slugs. If you're watering your plants at night, and you're watering away at night, what happens is we have a wet garden at night, and a wet garden at night is that perfect habitat for slugs to breed. So first off, water in the morning, you'll cut down on your slug populations. Secondly, what you can do is if you saw slugs in your garden, what you can do is just put a little bit of salt in your hand, and as soon as you see those slugs, all you do is just give them a little dash of salt. That doesn't make them taste your escargot. No, what that little <laughs> dash of salt does is pull the moisture away from them and will kill them. Uh, other common insects as well can be anything from scale. Scale are when you're going to see bumps on the side of that plant. And with scale, we need to use some alcohol swabs. But often, if you have an insect, what I would say, snap a picture of it, put it on your social media site, on your Facebook, on your Instagram. All your friends out there are very active gardeners now, and we're here to help and also identify. You can always reach out to me or other garden influencers out there to help you as well. Yeah, and Frankie, we'll get back to you. We love you for that. Uh, really quickly, Frankie, common diseases that might harm our plants. Are there any that you, uh, that you want to mention right now? Yeah, so when it comes to anything like the squash type plants, so here's some zucchini. Hey, it's Frank Ferragini with a zucchini. Ah, ah. they're waiting to say that. Um, <laughs> but that's where, where we have powdery mildew. We want to ensure that we're watering in the morning, that'll cut it down. And then if we're having powdery mildew or any disease, we look for a fungicide. A reminder, fungicide for diseases. Insecticide is going to be for insects. But really, allowing air circulation through the garden, allowing it to dry out, really important. But uh, powdery mildew, quite common when you have things like squash plants. This one here, even though it appears to be a powdery mildew, it's the variety of zucchini that I have, which is a variegated variety. It also gives you that funky leaf as well, so it's kind of cool. So don't be uh, fooled by that thinking it's powdery mildew. Mm. This guy never washes his vegetables. You're so like salt of the earth, Frankie. They're all organically grown. <laughs> okay. They're all organically grown. <laughs> Frankie, thank you so much. You have the best intel always. You enjoy that zucchini.